Love and Thunder was a smorgasbord of delights that included, amongst other things, the cutest little dumpling god ever, but it also showcased two crazy, loud, proud, mean lords from the animal world of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Thor's goats, Tooth Gnasher, and Tooth Grinder. And whether you knew it or not, these critters are going to show up again elsewhere in the MCU. And there's definitely some deep cut data on these burly beasts that I'd like to share with you so that you can appreciate them both now and later when they reappear in the MCU. And, well, we're going to go goat or go broke right now. Welcome back to the Mama Saga, where this Marvel-loving mama is a mother by day, but breaks down comic book sagas, movies, and shows like Thor Love and Thunder by night. Before we go any further, spoiler alert, there are some spoilers in this video. So if you have not watched the movie Thor Love and Thunder yet, then you might want to exit this video and go catch up and then come back. We'll still be here. No worries. Okay, so for starters, you need to appreciate the goat's Norse roots. Tooth Nasher and Tooth Grinder are both based off two goats that the Norse legend of Thor owned, and those names are so difficult for me to pronounce that I'll have them flashed on the screen right now so you know what they are and can appreciate how difficult it would be for me to say them properly and do them justice. Go ahead, you try saying those two names yourself. See how well you do. Anyway, in the North myths, Thor, god of thunder, would use these two goats for transportation and a whole lot more. He'd eat them, really. He'd just up and eat these critters. Like, you know, he could have cooked up a nice curried goat stew, complete with curry powder, scotch bonnet peppers, potatoes, and a little bit of tooth gnasher and tooth grinder for taste. Wow, but no worries, because in the North mythos, these two goats would reincarnate as long as Thor didn't cook up the bones and skin. Okay, gross. In fact, when Thor accidentally mentions eating goats, it was a funny moment in the movie when the otherwise screaming beasts fell totally silent because I think those twin terrors could sense a cook pot on the horizon if they didn't rein themselves in. But look, as long as Thor preserved enough of the animals prior to feasting on them, per Norwegian legend, he could just resurrect them with Mjolnir nice and easy. In a Norwegian poem that I absolutely also can't pronounce, so we'll flash the name of it on screen somewhere around here, Thor was recognized as a lord of goats whose beasts had splendid horns and nearly collapsed following a big battle due to lameness, apparently because of something mischievous that Loki did. That's Loki! And there's another tale where Thor and Loki are traveling and stay over at a peasant family's home. Everyone's hungry, so of course, Thor sacrifices his goats, but warns everyone to keep the bones intact so that when he resurrects them, both goats will be in good health. Of course, here comes Loki convincing one of the peasants to break open the bones of one of the two beasts so that they can enjoy the marrow. Ugh. And when Thor goes to resurrect them, surprise, one of the two goats is lame. Thor's mad, and to compensate him for the inconvenience, the peasants provide their children to Thor to sacrifice and to serve as his servants for the rest of their lives, because that's not dark at all. So now, on a lighter note, the goats' MCU debut. Tooth Nasher and Tooth Grinder shows up in the movie Thor Love and Thunder as a gift that is bestowed upon Thor after he saved the Indigarians from Gore the God Butcher. It becomes quickly obvious why they were gifted to Thor. It was more of a backhanded blessing type of gift because while Thor saved the Indigarians themselves, he accidentally destroyed their holy temple that they were worried about gore destroying in the first place. Why a 
backhanded blessing? Because the goats both scream with all of the energy and zeal of the yelling goat meme every single time they appear in the movie. And honestly, you'd have to be living under a rock not to know what the yelling goat meme was. Go ahead and look it up on YouTube if you want. Seriously, the video that first showcased the vocal shrillness of a Peruvian goat bleeding and screeching his furry face off has amassed millions of views and has been elevated to the form of mean legend ever since. They practically wreck the inside of the Guardian ship once the goats are loaded on. In fact, Peter Quill and his crew can't wait to leave Thor and his twin terrors behind after that. And they ghost like Swayze on poor Thor almost immediately afterward. Soon Thor, Valkyrie, Korg, and Jane Foster are traveling the universe in New Asgard's spare Viking-styled ship, bifrosting their way to save the day, much like Thor and his goats would do in the Marvel comic book saga, until later when they jump into battle in Omnipotent City to help stave off the enemy from Team Thor, screaming all the way, of course. And when Team Thor tries to stealthily enter Gore's planet in the Shadow Realm, they didn't just shred any possibility of gaining the element of surprise because they were so loud, those goats. Oh no, they crashed directly into the planet itself in one of the funniest scenes of the movie. I screamed with laughter. It was so ridiculous. But if you think Marvel is done with the goats as a running joke, you're totally wrong. It's time to discuss the GOAT's next MCU appearance. It's been confirmed that Thor's two GOATs are going to appear in the MCU next in the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, which is due out before the end of 2022. Chris Pratt, a.k.a. Peter Quill, joked with Marvel Entertainment that Taika Waititi specifically added the Space GOATs to Thor Love and Thunder to torment poor James Gunn, who now has to deal with them in his next installment with the Guardians. Do I think the Tooth Gnasher and Tooth Grinder are gonna be hilarious in that movie? Yes. Do I think that they'll likely make another appearance in the next movie in the Thor franchise? Would people are currently referring to as Thor 5, where Thor will be facing off with Hercules? Sure, why not? I think James Gunn is going to be all no back seats when he passes them back to Taika Waititi should he direct Thor 5, which Taika said he would do as long as Chris Hemsworth came back specifically in that movie, which you'd kind of think he would, which opens the door to James Gunn passing the goats back to reunite with Thor once more under those circumstances. Am I right? All I know is those goats were super funny in Thor Love and Thunder. And I can't wait to see them again because they're a delightful running joke that, just like the original goat meme on YouTube, has real staying power. Anyway, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok and subscribe to The Mama Saga for more comic book saga breakdowns, Salty Mama style. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.